Hi, this is Dr. Sandeep Biswas, consultant gynecologist and obstetrician at Bhagavad Native Women in Chandigarh Hospital. Uh, I'm supposed to talk about high risk pregnancy today. High risk pregnancy, well, if you take in that sense, every pregnancy is potentially high risk. Why do I say so? Pregnancy is an event which is uh, unpredictable. Somebody going through the pregnancy all well suddenly develops hypertension. You call it high risk. Similarly, when you classify high risk pregnancy, we got to think about the mother and the baby separately. When you talk about the mother, we find that people who are already having some medical disorders like diabetes, hypertension, past history of miscarriages, or a fibroid in the womb with the pregnancy, and especially pregnancies after post IVF are all high risk pregnancies. Now, these pregnancies need to be looked after a bit more vigilantly than a normal pregnancy. So, when the person first comes to our clinic with a high risk, so called high risk pregnancy, we go to do a battery of blood tests, a few scans to know how the pregnancy is doing that at that time. And then from that baseline, we move towards the next part of the pregnancy till the delivery and also postpartum. Now, it's a very, very long topic. I'd like to cut short and touch a few points which will highlight what is high risk pregnancy. See, suppose people with medical disorders. What are the medical disorders we looked into which can develop high risk pregnancy? Today, diabetes is a burning problem. It is an epidemic in Southeast Asia. So people should be screened for diabetes even because becoming pregnant. Because people who are diabetic have a number of complications developing during pregnancy, including miscarriage and early preterm labor, small babies, and pregnancies who develop diabetes after being pregnant have large babies. So either way is possible. So monitoring fetal growth by regular ultrasound scans is very important. Equally important is the medications used in diabetes. Normally, when you become, when you are not pregnant, you have a number of choices of drugs to use for. But during pregnancy, we can use only two things. That is, one is a medication called metformin, and the other is insulin. Either of these two is needed to give a very, very rigid control of your sugar levels because that will affect your pregnancy, including your baby. Similarly, hypertension, blood pressure high. If you're diagnosed with blood pressure high already before pregnancy, you should see a physician and get particularly some specific medication should not be used in pregnancy, but those should be avoided even before you become pregnant. Because by the time you're pregnant, that means you realize you're pregnant with the pregnancy test, we are already two weeks into your pregnancy. The baby is growing, but you don't know. And that is a, f that is a very critical time because the paths start forming and there are a few medications which can affect that pregnancy. So getting the right medications of antihypertensives even before pregnancy is very important. Also, thyroid disorders. Thyroid disorders are looming up nowadays. So treating thyroid disorders before becoming pregnant is very important. And also screening for thyroid disorders once you become pregnant is important. Why? Because the baby does not develop its thyroid gland until around 10 to 12 weeks of pregnancy it depends on the mother so if you are insufficiently producing thyroid hormones your baby gets affected so these are the few disorders to talk about which should be looked into before getting pregnant once you are pregnant then there are some disorders which can happen and which makes you high risk like type again hypertension developing after becoming pregnant what we call preeclampsia it is a very, very dangerous situation because a mother can land up having fits. So regular checkup of your blood pressure by your physician during pregnancy is very important. And if you develop hypertension, treating that with right medication, right doses, right time and keeping a good control of that blood pressure is equally important for your baby's growth and a good pregnancy outcome. Diabetes in pregnancy. You, you are screened once you are pregnant and again in around 26, 28 weeks, you have to got to go under a glucose tolerance test where you are given a glass of glucose to drink and blood tests are done to see if you have developed diabetes in pregnancy. This happens because there are some placental hormones which make you diabetogenic. 
this diabetes vanishes post pregnancy but treating that in pregnancy is very important because it affects the pregnancy in, in in a way that your baby becomes large the water around the baby becomes small you are prone to develop rupture your membranes your water bag and go into labor early before term meaning before 37 weeks and any preterm delivery is high risk post delivery these people since they have a larger uterus larger baby larger amount of fluid are more prone to develop heavy bleeding after pregnancy which is called postpartum hemorrhage where you might need blood transfusions as well so Keeping an eye on diabetes developing due to pregnancy is very important. Also, there are some conditions which develop during pregnancy which make you high risk, like the baby not growing to its potential, what you call it intrauterine growth restriction, and monitoring baby's growth at 28, 32, and 36 weeks helps us to know whether the baby is growing to its potential or not. If it's not growing, it's better to take the baby out at an appropriate time rather than keeping it in and making it short of oxygen and sometimes the baby might die inside your womb. We don't want such a situation to develop. So the monitoring growth of the baby is equally important. Often we see people baking their water bags early in pregnancy, meaning that you cross your 28 weeks marks, you go to the third trimester, suddenly you develop a situation where you break your water bags and you go into labor. That is called preterm delivery. In those preterm deliveries, delivering babies at the right time, meaning if the pregnancy can be continued as long as possible to, for the baby to develop all its organs, and deciding on the mode and timing of delivery is very important. Your physician will be the right person to decide on that, but delivering such babies with, with a, in a hospital where there is level 3 in ICU care is very, very important because the baby survives in a very good setup like ours. Next, we come to some situations where uh, things happen during pregnancy which uh, are unwanted like pregnancy with a placenta low down in your womb which you call placenta previa you can bleed in pregnancy and bleed so heavily that you need to deliver the baby and otherwise a mother might succumb to loss of blood so it is called antipartum hemorrhage it's a high risk situation so in short these are the eight events which can happen in pregnancy and post pregnancy as i told you as happens with diabetes there are other situations also when you can bleed more what's called postpartum hemorrhage that is a situation which again is a high risk pregnancy that needs to take control otherwise you might lose your womb so in short in gist i've given you an idea about what are the high risk conditions and where you need to take better care for a healthy mother and a healthy baby thank you